Hey, what's up guys? Little Luigi here. This is episode 5.2 of Item Feud, and today we're gonna see how our new teams, Team Pee Pee Poo Poo Egg and Super Tream will do for round five. But of course, before all that, we have to look at Max Fecto picture of me as Garfield. Alrighty, let's see what items were used this round. Lady Molab used a magnet on War Bunny. Malshock 9 used a page to make another submission. Omelette pickpocketed Chain Chomp Braided's blue shell and used it. A green bean casserole used Sabotage to make a submission for the other team. They also used glasses to peek at Lord Pickle King's original submission, and they used the blue shell. My expected bully team reacted into being called Team Pee Pee Poo Poo Egg. Side Disdain used the Devil Cherry to make twice the submissions, twice the votes, and get twice the items. War Bunny used the button on Max Fecto, giving him the bullet bill effect, which gives him a prize and gets rid of one prize slot. And lastly, Yoshi Awesome used the blue shell. Wait, guys, we have a problem. While I was sleeping, Spaghetti Little Luigi planted landmines where the elimination zones were. So now, if you're in the elimination zone for this round, you won't receive an item. Sorry. All right, well, let's see who won this round. In first place with 85.77% is Chain Chomp Raiden with the submission. Scrabble announces that ain't is now a valid word in the game, reigniting longstanding family disputes worldwide, which is a very creative and original submission. But since some mean people use the blue show on you, you won't receive a prize. Also, since the button used on Max caused a bullet bill effect, the person in second place won't just not receive a prize, but will also not receive any items. And second place is Tyronar. Sorry that someone had to hit you with a blue shell. But even third place, which is Malshock, will get hit with a blue shell because the contestants are ruthless. Luckily, Malshock used a page to get all the way up to third place, but it also caused them not to win an item. In fourth and fifth place is Lord Pickle King and Malshock 9's page submission. Crazy how both of your submissions were high up, Malshock, and almost next to each other. In the top 10 are Check-In, Max Vecto, who won a prize from a bullet bill, Sid the Science Kid, Lady Mole and Fonda 1515. Lady Mullab got an extra item from using a magnet. Now let's go down to the elimination zone. Next is Yoshi Awesome, Sai of Disdain, War Bunny, Sai of Disdain's Double Cherry Submission, Charcoal, and Omelet. Unfortunately, War Bunny lost their items because of the magnet, and Sai of Disdain's two submissions were right next to each other, and Sai wins two items. But we haven't seen the Sabotage submission yet. Oh no, did it get too low and give the other team one less elimination slot? Let's see. The team with the lowest average percentile is Team Pee Pee Poo Poo Egg, which means that the sabotage caused them to only lose one team member. The person on Team Pee Pee Poo Poo Egg that is safe from this elimination is Viscerant, which means Vortex 83, a green bean casserole, and yo yo cake are safe, but Bristle Brip has died. A green bean casserole was also surprisingly next to his second submission, like the others. Brizzle Brip, for dying honorably, you get an item. Your item is Prank. Use on a contestant so during results they have a red background that makes it look like they are eliminated. It's harmless unlike some actual pranks, but it's still special. Our least controversial submission was Chain on Braden's winning submission. As opposed to him usually being controversial, voters agreed this was a good submission. And the most controversial submission was Sai of Disdain's I would make all YouTube links lead to a Rickroll video because Rickrolls are the most obvious form of April Fool jokes. After these results, we can see that Lady Molab has been accumulating the most items so far and Malshaw has been having the least. A green bean casserole has definitely been using items the most so far and now dead Marvel Race fan Epic and Alive Malshock 9 have been affected by the most items. Here we can see Lady Molab, Charcoal, and Max Fecto are in the lead for percentile, while Omelette, Sai, and Sid are doing the work, doing the most efficient so far. I have also added normalized ranks, which is a percentile based off your rank instead of your votes. Lady Molab is a lot higher when it comes to normalized rank, but nothing else is abnormal. Viscerant told me to do standardized, 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 standardized. Viscerant told me to do standardized. St frick. Standard, standardized, standardized rank, but I have yet to know what the heck it means. A green bean casserole has surprisingly become our most controversial submitter, while Viscerant is our least controversial. And that's all for all the Coolio stats. This round, by the way, was the first time a previous prizer has died. Rizzle Rip even prized two times before this. Now half of our contestants have prized before. The cool kids in the prizer gang are a green bean casserole, chain chomp and charcoal, check in Fonda 1515, Lady Mola, Vizzer, and Warbunny, and Tyranar. I think everyone here needs to learn a lesson from a green bean casserole sabotage use. His sabotage was way too terrible. It got 9.52%, which is super low. Your sabotages need to be bad, but not too bad so that the team will have a normal amount of people eliminated. 
Also, because I've been showing the votes in the server, let me also show them here. Even though you can figure out who votes what by the submissions they voted in first, I'm still not showing the names because some special people didn't do that. Now, let me announce the prompt for round 6, which is... What's a cool item that should totally be in the game? You can bend the rules of the game to fit in your item. If you get first, your item may be in the game. If it's too ridiculous to be an item feud though, I will tweak what it does. Go wild with your ideas. An example is free for all, an item that makes it so the teams are gone and everyone fights for themselves in the round. You have until November 29th, 3 p.m. CST to come up with an item. You're getting four days this time because of Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have fun with this prompt. See you in 6.1. Bye!